Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the channel for today's video. Today we got the Apollo RFZ and we are going to learn how to do some donuts on the dirt bike. So there's going to be a few couple things and tips and tricks you guys need to know before you get into this and how to do it before you go and end up on your lips when you go out and try this on your bike for the first time. So the first thing we're going to want to know before we get into start trying to do donuts on the dirt bike is you're going to want to know what you need to do with your body placement on the dirt bike. As we get on it and you want to do a donut or you're trying to do a U-turn on the bike, it's going to be important that you keep your right foot up on the peg because this is going to be your peg with the brake. Generally speaking, most of the time you do a donut or a U-turn, you're going to have the bike leaned over to the left. It's going to be harder if you're leaning it over to the right only because you don't have that brake control there if you need the brake, but you totally can do them both to the left and the right. So the first thing that's the most important to know is where your weight is over the bike as you start the donut. So if you have the bike leaned over, but your weight's still over top of the bike, when you go to start a donut, you're not gonna do a donut and the bike's gonna shoot off straight. So you, what you want to do is put majority of your weight down on your leg that's on the ground so that your weight is no longer on the bike. When you have weight on the bike and over that rear tire, that's gonna give the tire traction to push the bike forward. You don't want that. What you want is loose traction on the rear end so it's actually spinning around and doing a donut. So we wanna lean the bike over and put all our weight on the leg that's on the ground. So the second most important thing when you're trying to learn how to do a donut is where you have the handlebars pointed. So you wanna make sure that you've got them turned all the way into the direction that you're trying to do the donut. Not kinda, sort of, not pretty straight, all the way turned in. Now the third most important thing is gonna be how far over the bike is leaned. The more upright the bike is and true with going straight, it's gonna to wanna to go straight. The farther over you have the bike leaned, the more it's gonna to wanna to fall into that turn that you're trying to do as a donut. So it's gonna be really beneficial to you to lean the bike over like almost as much as possible. So I'm bringing the bike almost down to my knee height. And then that's when I'm gonna go ahead and start my donut is with the bike leaned over this far. Now something to note before you get into starting to trying to do your donuts is you wanna have really good clutch control. So you're gonna wanna be able to be comfortable with having one finger on the clutch and being able to grab that at a time's notice. Sometimes when you aren't able to grab the clutch, if you're not that used to it, you might be getting in the middle of the donut and then the bike shoots away from you because you're still on throttle and the bike's rotating around on your wrist. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have a finger over the clutch lever the entire time you're trying to do it. So the first thing, like I said, we're gonna have to clutch in, make sure you have really good clutch control because this is gonna be super important that the bike does not run away from you. So first off, we're gonna show you an example of what not to do. So in this case of what not to do, we're keeping much more of our weight up on this high side. And as you'll see, if I go to do this, the bike kind of just wants to go forward. It doesn't want to necessarily turn down and around. Now this is what you're gonna want to do. You wanna put your weight down on the leg that's not on the bike, lean the bike over, clutch in, revs up, let it out. Then clutch in when you're done and now you've done a donut, just like that. So to stop that donut, it was important that I grab the clutch in so that the bike didn't want to just fly away and kick off. So as you guys seen, I was able to keep my foot stationary in one spot. I kept the bike leaned down and just constant throttle. We'll do it again here. So we're gonna lean the bike down. We're taking our weight off our leg that's on the bike and putting our weight on the one that's on the ground. Clutch is in, bike is leaned over, revs go up, and we're gonna let go of the clutch. And we grab the clutch when we're done, and just like that, you're learning how to do donuts on your dirt bike. So as they said, you can do it the other way. So we'll lean it over, same thing. And when we're done, I just pull the clutch in and that stops me from going anywhere uncontrollably. Now this can be really handy when you're at the ends of a tight trail and you just wanna pull a quick U-turn. Instead of doing a 55 point turn, you can just quickly lean it down, turn it. And now you're facing the other direction and ready to take off. Oh, we're the wrong way again, just quickly turn it around and we're facing the other way. It's a whole lot easier than getting off the bike, pulling it, blah, 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 or trying to do a 55 point turn of going forwards, going backwards, going, you just lean the bike down, put your weight on the foot far out, bring on the clutch, load the RPM, let go of the clutch, and we pivot and turn around just like that. Now when you get more comfortable with doing your donuts, you can keep them going for more than just one rotation. So let's see if we can do that here. Just like that, same thing, we're grabbing the clutch when we're done and we kill it. All right, now there's gonna be a couple tips for people that are just learning how to do this. The first is gonna be that this is gonna be much easier to learn on a smaller bike that's lower to the ground. The next tip I wanna give you guys is look at the area I'm doing it. It's kind of loose, pebbly rocks. This is exactly what you want. A really nice, loose surface area is gonna be the easiest 
to just lean her down and just whee! and you do a u-turn just like that so this is definitely like the type of surface you want to learn how to do it on it's gonna be much more difficult if you're on pavement or some side of more sticky ground like grass may even be a little bit difficult but it should be really no problem now the next thing i find really important is keeping your shoulders and your head pointed in the direction you want to go so if you guys see my shoulders are leaned down and pointed to the left no longer straight if they stay pointed straight the bike wants to kind of shoo away from you like that, which is not what you want because you're gonna wipe out and have a hard time. Now, the most important tip I can give you on doing this is just making sure that you're leaned over because what happens is if you're not leaned over enough and it does start to do the donut, it might grip up halfway and high side you and flip you over top of the bike on the highway. So you don't want that. You wanna be able to keep down low enough so that it doesn't high side you and flip you over to the wrong side of the bike. That looks kind of something like this. We'll see if we can make it happen. Kind of like that, which is not what you want. You want to stay down nice and low. And you're able to turn around much easier. Now there is a point where you go too far. If you come down way far, you might just dump the bike like that on the ground. Now the next thing you'll notice is that when you're starting, your foot, you might be dancing around like, like this. which is not what you want. You do not want to take the foot that you're planting on the ground. You don't want to take it off the ground. Every time you pick that foot up, you're putting weight back over the bike, which is going to make you straighten up and not continue the donut. So it's really important that you keep that foot planted on the ground like this. And you can see that whole time my boot was spinning in the dirt. I did not take my foot off the ground because as you see, this is what happens when you take your boot off the ground. You can see as soon as I took my foot off the ground and put the weight back over the bike, it just straightened up and wanted to go straight and no longer keep doing that donut. I hope you guys learned something from today's video. If you did, make sure you guys click like, leave a comment down below if you got any questions and subscribe for more.